Hi, how you doing? Thank you for joining me again. Today, I want to talk to you about strategies for being happy. Okay? So, when we think about life, goals, aspirations, what is the purpose of all of them, ultimately? For instance, if you've got a financial goal, if you want to earn a hundred thousand pounds a year, or do you want to earn a million pounds a year? Whatever you want to, whatever you want to accomplish, what is the purpose of it ultimately? If you earn a hundred thousand pounds a year, you might be able to drive a new car, you might be able to buy a new house, um, you might be able to feel secure. You might want to feel secure because ultimately, if we trace all of these goals through, it's because we want to be happy. If your goal is to enter a new rewarding relationship. What's the purpose of that? To feel more love in your life, which will ultimately make you happy. So the ultimate outcome of all of our goals is to be happy. And there is there's an error in a lot of our thinking about happiness, in that a lot of people will say, oh, if I get that new job, I'll be happy. If I get that new car, then I'll be happy. Um, if I get that girl, if I get that guy, I'll be happy. But what you're doing there is you're training yourself to postpone your happiness. You're moving your happiness off into the future, and you're getting the habit of waiting for it instead of actually experiencing it. The only way to be happy is to choose to be happy now. Happiness is an in the moment decision. Okay? Happiness to an extent can be governed by external circumstances, but some of the people that live in the worst circumstances in the world, people who struggle to get enough food to eat, haven't got clean water, have to walk miles for it, are happier than probably 80% of the Western population. So happiness isn't, it isn't about external circumstances, it's about internal representations. So I'm sure you've heard the phrase, the only time you have is now. That is utterly true. Um, if you push something off into the future, it's unlikely ever to, uh, ever, ever to manifest. So what we're gonna do today is an exercise to help you be happy now. Okay, there's, there's never a time when it's inappropriate to be happy Life may throw things at you, okay? Relationships break down. Um, family members and loved ones pass away. This happens to all of us, and yes, the emotional pain is inevitable, but suffering isn't, okay? Your level of suffering depends on your choice of thoughts. So, for instance, if someone passes away, while it's an incredibly painful experience, if you choose to think about all the things you love about that person every time they come to mind, you aren't going to suffer to the same extent as if every time you think of them, you think about how bad it is that they are gone. Okay? So with that in mind, we are going to do an exercise to help you be happy, as happy as you can feel right now, and to give you a tool to anchor that feeling. Okay? So, if you've seen any of my other videos, we've talked about anchoring before, and anchoring, in the simplest terms, is a hook, a gesture, a movement that we can use to evoke a certain feeling that we've programmed in, okay? We might have programmed it consciously like we're doing today, or we might have programmed it without really thinking about it, okay? For instance, staring at your phone um, when, when it vibrates or bleeps, okay? We've not programmed that consciously. That's, a, that's an unconscious programming that we've gone through, but it's an automatic response now. So, what I want you to do is get comfortable. And first of all, I'm gonna to talk to you about how we're going to anchor. So. Towards the end of this process, I'm going to count from one to five. I'm going to explain this as we go. But when I get to four and I say fire the anchor, what I mean is I want you to squeeze your thumb and one finger together. Okay, so if you have previously set up another anchor with me um, on any other finger, you need a different one. Okay, so um, today I'm going to go thumb and index finger. Okay, that is going to be my happiness anchor. So, to start with, sit, stand, however you're comfortable. Ideally, this one works best with your eyes closed. Okay, so I mean, close your eyes and bring a big smile to your face. Okay, okay. Physiology is one of the biggest parts of being happy. Okay, if you shift your physiology, you cannot be unhappy. Okay, so get yourself comfortable. Make sure your spine's nice and uh, nice and upright. Big smile. Okay. With that smile on your face, I want you to direct it around your body, okay? So smile into your eyes, smile into your brain, 
Smile into your ears, smile into the rest of your face and your head. Smile into your neck and your throat. Smile into your shoulders, smile into your arms and your hands. Smile into your chest, into your heart, into your torso, all the way down your torso. Smile into your groin, into your legs, into your feet. You're smiling all around your body now. Hopefully you're starting to feel pretty good right now. Okay, so keep directing that smile around your body. Keep that smile on your face. Good. Now again, ideally with your eyes closed. Alright, you can get yourself comfortable. Okay. And as I count from one to five, we're not doing the anchor yet, as we count from one up to five, um, we are going to feel happiness and good feeling coming into us from the floor upwards, okay? So one, feeling happiness coming in and up our legs, halfway up our legs. Two, all the way up to our hips. Three, up to the middle of our chest. Four, up to the top of your head, full of happiness now. And five, spilling out into the world. There's too much for your body to contain, okay? I'm going to do that one more time. So make sure you're comfortable. One, happiness breathing in from the floor up to your knees. Two, up to your hips. Three, up to the middle of your chest. Four, up to the top of your head. And five, bursting out of your body because there's too much happiness for you to contain. Okay, keep hold of that feeling, okay? And this time we are going to anchor, okay? So, one. Bringing that happiness right up to your knees. Two, bringing it up to your hip. Three, up the middle of your chest. Four, to the top of your head. Fire that anchor, keep hold of it. Five, flying out, filling the world with your happiness. Keep hold of it. Let it go. And let the feeling subside. Give it a little shake off. Break state. Okay, one more time. One, breathing that happiness up from the floor, up to the middle of your leg. Two, bringing it all the way up to your hip. Three, happiness flowing up to the middle of your chest. Four, filling up to the top of your head. Fire that anchor, keep hold of it. Five, that happiness spilling out into the world. Absolutely full of it, overflowing with it. Let go of the anchor. Let the feeling subside. And break state. Good. Now, you just programmed yourself to feel happy on command. So, if ever work's getting a little bit too much for you, school's getting a little bit too much for you, you get a little bit stressed on the road, okay? Remember, you've got this in the bag, which will immediately make you feel happier. But remember, happiness is a choice. Your thoughts are a choice. Make sure you're choosing wisely. Thank you. See you later.